Welcome to another Lightroom editing tutorial. In this video, I want to talk about shaping light once more. This means we are going to turn this image into this contrast rich, colorful scene. And we are doing this by using a ton of masks and a few other smaller adjustments. If you want to follow along, feel free to grab the raw file from the link in the description of the video. And now let's begin. So, before we can alter the light, we first need to set up the base image. Let's expand the basic panel. I want to switch the profile going from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard, since this will lessen the contrast and lessen the saturation a little bit, as you can see. Then I also want to play around with the white balance. For this image, I do have a warm scene in mind. So I think I'm just going to raise the temperature, adding a little more warmth overall, but I don't want to go too crazy, so I think this is looking quite good like this. So to set up the base image, I need to have a very rough idea of how I want this shot to look like. And I think I want to make it look a little darker. So let's first bring down the exposure. I'm just carefully dropping it while always paying close attention to the histogram since I don't want to underexpose too badly. Those sliders right now are not that precise, so what I can do to fix that is to just make that panel a little larger by dragging it out like this. So let's continue with the exposure. And at the same time, I do want to further tweak the darkness here, so I'm going to bring down the shadows. This will also add some very cool contrast. And at this point, you can see some underexposure kicking in, but don't worry about that for now. At the same time, I think I'm going to drop the whites overall as well. And at this point, let's bring up the blacks slightly so we can get back some details in the very darkest spots of the image. Okay, exposure wise, this is looking good so far. I do want to make this image look a little sharper, so I'm going to add a bit of texture and some clarity to get in some details. Wonderful. And finally, I also want to raise the vibrance just a tiny bit. Okay, so that is the base image we can compare to before real quick. You can see we have lost a lot of light. We also adjusted the colors very, very slightly. So now it's time we work on the light situation. And for that, as I said, we are going to use a lot of masking. Let's open up the masking panel. I think I want to start with something easy, so let's just go ahead and click on the sky mask. Since we have a pretty clear edge between the mountain and the sky, you can see Lightroom has a very easy time selecting the sky. And what I want to do with it is to just make it a lot darker, making it look like there's a big thunderstorm approaching. So dark, and at the same time, I want to change the color of the sky. This means I'm going to drop the temperature, going away from the warm look in the sky to a much colder look. That's perfect. I also want to introduce a lot more contrast so we can actually see those clouds in here a little better, giving them some structure. And for the same effect, I want to bring up the clarity. This makes them look way more interesting. So that's great. All right, let's see, what can we do next? I think I want to enchant the shadows of the very near foreground. Let me just create a linear gradient for that. You can see using this linear gradient, I'm just targeting the dark parts where the light is not hitting the landscape. And what I want to do with this linear gradient is to just bring down the whites. And I'm dropping the whites since if I would drop the exposure to make it darker, I would risk some more underexposure, which is not what I want. So in this case, I'm just going to bring down the whites. I can bring them down rather safely without risking that underexposure. Then let's start to bring in some light. I'm going to create a radial gradient for that. And I just want to target that small river in the center. This is looking pretty good. What I want to do here is to bring up the whites. And I also want to add clarity just to add structure. Wonderful. 
the next thing I want to adjust is the landscape that actually gets hit by the light. For that, let me create a color range mask. And with that color range mask, I'm simply clicking somewhere in that area with the light on the landscape. So let's say right there. And you can see how we get a pretty good selection, but we can tweak it some more by increasing the refine amount. I do want to have a slightly wider selection like this. I can also add some areas manually. So let's choose the brush. And I'm just brushing over this spot right here. I'm making it very, very roughly. I can later always deselect the sky. And I can do that by simply saying subtract. And here we're choosing sky. So that's looking like a really good mask. With this mask active, let's bring up the exposure. This helps adding contrast and you can see this makes the whole landscape a lot more interesting and dynamic with that way more intense light. What we can also do is to bring up the saturation and I also want to bring up the temperature, giving it a warmer look on the highlights, just like that. That looks really, really good so far. Now let's do a few more adjustments, mainly for the sky. So here I want to use another linear gradient since I still think it's a bit too bright. Just a little tilted like this. And in here, I'm just going to bring down the exposure once again. I can safely drop it quite a lot. Just want to have a very, very dark sky. Wonderful. And I do think I want to add one more linear gradient right on top of it, but not as big. And I'm going to use a straight one like this. And again, just bring down the exposure. Perfect. Now I think we're almost done with the masking adjustments. There's just one more thing that is bothering me and that's the brightness of this spot right there. I think it's a little too bright for the rest of the landscape. So I'm going to use yet another linear gradient. Just cover it like this. I actually want to subtract another linear gradient from the top down. So only really those shadows are affected. And what I want to do here is to just bring down the exposure. I don't think I have to worry about underexposure in here. So that is looking really, really good. And that's the image after the masking adjustments. Let me show you the before version. So we went from this to this. You can see how we have completely changed this image by using a few cleverly placed masks like this. Again, before, after. This image now has a lot more depth and is just way more dynamic overall. From this point on, what we can do is a little color grading. So let's just go into the HSL panel. I guess I want to start with the hue because what I can do right here is to give those highlights some more of a warmer color tone, but just bringing down the yellow hue slightly. And what this does is it just makes the landscape look like it was shot during the golden hour. So of course I don't want to overdo it and that's why I just use a very low amount here. Next up, the saturation. I think this landscape might be a little too saturated overall. So I want to bring down the yellow tones. And I also want to bring down the aqua tones and the blue tones, which will affect the sky mostly. Just like that. Now let's head into the luminance tab. Here we can further work on the contrast. And for that, I can bring up the yellow luminance, which will nicely increase those highlights in the foreground. Just don't overdo it, but I think this right here is a good spot. I could maybe also bring up the blue luminance very, very slightly just to balance out the sky against the foreground. But I think this looks great. At this point, I do want to go back into the hue tab since there is a very, very slight purple color cast in the sky, which I really don't like. So to change that, I'm going to just drop the purple hue. And thus we are getting a much cleaner blue tone in the sky. Then I think we can do some split toning. I just want to target the highlights and just make them a little warmer. So let's set up a hue, giving it an orange color tone like that. And I want to bring up the saturation. Perfect. 
Now all that's left to do is to go into the calibration tab and here I just want to bring up the blue primary saturation. Perfect. That's it for the color grading. And the very last thing we want to do is the sharpening in the details tab. So let's go do that. I'm going to drop the radius, increase the details, add a bit of masking and then increase the amount of sharpening. Perfect. And here we have the finished image. So you can see by just using a bit of Lightroom, we changed it from this rather boring landscape shot to this very dynamic, dramatic landscape scene. Of course, this will not work with every image. You have to have the right conditions for it. Like in this case, we had some dark clouds in the distance and some highlights hitting the landscape with some shadows sprinkled on top of that. So for this image, shaping light is very, very easy. I hope this tutorial was helpful and interesting. Of course, if you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you so much for watching this video.